Amsoil markets itself as the absolute best synthetic oil money can buy. They charge premium prices, claim superior protection, and promise extended drain intervals that other brands won't touch. But is it actually better, or is it just expensive marketing? Here's what most people don't know. Amsoil does something almost no other oil company will do. They publish independent laboratory test results comparing their products head-to-head -head against competitors. Not marketing claims, not promotional materials, actual ASDM standard testing conducted by third-party labs. After 25 years in the automotive industry, I've used Amsoil, Mobile One, Royal Purple, Pennzoil, and just about every synthetic on the market. Today, I'm breaking down the actual test data to answer one question. Is Amsoil really worth the premium price? Or are you paying for a fancy label? Let's look at what the independent testing actually reveals. Before we dive into specific tests, let's establish what makes one oil better than another. Marketing loves to throw around words like advanced formula and maximum protection, but those mean nothing without measurable performance. Real oil performance comes down to five critical areas, where protection, how well does it prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact under load? Deposit control, does it keep your engine clean or let sludge and varnish build up? Viscosity stability, does it maintain its protective thickness under heat and stress? Oxidation resistance, how long before it breaks down and turns into acidic sludge? Cold weather performance, will it flow and protect during cold starts? Industry standard tests measure all of these using ASDM procedures. These aren't manufacturer tests. They're standardized protocols that any lab can run, which means the results are comparable and verifiable. Amsoil publishes these results publicly. Most competitors don't. That fact alone tells you something. Let's start with the most impressive test, the Sequence IH engine test. This is the brutal standard required for API SP and ILSAC GF6 specifications. The test runs an engine at 304 degrees Fahrenheit for 90 hours, much hotter than normal operation, specifically designed to push oil to its breaking point. The passing grade requires that oil viscosity doesn't increase more than 100%, and pistons must maintain a cleanliness rating above a certain threshold. Most oils pass this test barely, and then the oil company moves on. Amsoil did something different. After their Signature Series 5W30 passed the 90-hour test with flying colors, they told the independent lab to reassemble the engine and run the test again using the same oil. They doubled the test duration to 180 hours. Even after 180 hours of extreme heat, Amsoil Signature Series limited viscosity increased to 49.6%, which is half the allowable limit for a single length run. The pistons were rated 40% cleaner than the minimum requirement. After 180 hours at temperatures far exceeding normal operation, you could practically eat off those pistons. The lab technicians were so impressed they lined up to watch the engine run and took pictures when it was disassembled. According to the independent lab, no other oil company has publicly doubled the sequence IIH test duration with the same batch of oil. That's not marketing. That's documented, third-party verified performance. Now let's talk about wear protection, because that's what actually determines if your engine lasts 150,000 miles or 300,000 miles. Amsoil conducted a 100,000-mile comparison test in Ford F-150 trucks with 3.5-liter twin-turbo engines. These are modern, stressed engines that produce serious heat and load. One truck ran Amsoil Signature Series 5W30. The other ran a leading synthetic blend 5W30. After 100,000 miles, both engines were torn down and inspected. The engine running the synthetic blend showed measurable wear on bearings and journals. The engine running Amsoil, the bearings looked like new. Far superior wear protection isn't subjective. It's measurable under magnification. The four ball wear test is another industry standard. A steel ball is rotated under pressure against three stationary balls submerged in oil. After the test, the size of the wear scar on the stationary balls determines protection level. Smaller scar equals better protection. In comparative testing, Amsoil Signature Series produced significantly smaller wear scars than Mobile One, Royal Purple, Pennzoil Platinum, and conventional oils. The results aren't close. Amsoil demonstrated measurably superior wear protection in standardized testing. Let's address deposit control because this is where cheap oils fail and expensive engines get destroyed. The ASDM D6593 engine test measures oil screen plugging, which simulates sludge formation under severe conditions. The test runs an engine through repeated heat cycles while monitoring how much crud accumulates in the oil pickup screen. Amsoil Signature Series kept the oil pickup tube screen virtually free of sludge. Comparative testing showed competing oils allowed significant screen plugging. When your oil pickup screen gets clogged, oil pressure drops, and metal starts grinding on metal. That's catastrophic engine damage waiting to happen. 
In independent testing for deposit prevention, AMSOIL's high mileage formula provided up to 62% better deposit protection compared to Valvoline full synthetic high mileage and Mobile One high mileage. That's based on the TIOS 33C test required by ILSAC GF6 specifications. Cleaner engines last longer. It's that simple. Deposits rob power, increase fuel consumption, and accelerate wear. AMSOIL's documented deposit control isn't marketing hype. It's measurable performance in standardized testing. Now let's talk about something most people never consider, turbocharger protection. If you drive a modern vehicle, there's a good chance it has a turbo. Turbos spin at over 100,000 revolutions per minute and operate at extreme temperatures. They're incredibly sensitive to oil quality. Amsoil Signature Series protects turbochargers 72% better than required by the GM Dexos 1 Gen 2 specification. That's based on independent testing using the GM Turbo Coking Test. Turbo coking is when oil bakes onto hot turbo components, creating deposits that restrict oil flow and destroy bearings. In the test, Amsoil kept turbos significantly cleaner than the minimum requirement. For anyone driving a turbocharged engine, that matters. Turbo replacements cost $1,500 to $3,000. Better oil protection is cheap insurance. Quick question before we continue. Have you ever used Amsoil? And if so, did you notice any difference compared to other synthetics? Drop your experience in the comments. And if you're finding this data interesting, hit that like button. We're about to get into extended drain intervals and whether they're actually safe. Let's address the elephant in the room. Amsoil's claim that you can run 25,000 miles or one year between oil changes. That sounds insane to mechanics trained on 3,000 mile oil changes. Is it safe or is Amsoil setting you up for engine damage? The answer is in the testing. Amsoil doesn't just claim extended drain capability. They test it. In the sequence IIG engine oil test, which evaluates viscosity stability, deposit control, and wear protection over 100 hours, passing grade requires viscosity increase below 150%. Amsoil ran their signature series 5W30 through the test once. Viscosity increased only 27.6%. Excellent result. Then they ran the same oil through a second 100-hour test. After 200 hours total, viscosity increase was 41.5%. A 41.5% viscosity increase after 100 hours is considered outstanding. Amsoil achieved that after 200 hours. The oil exceeded passing standards for two complete test cycles using the same batch. In real-world terms, that validates extended drain intervals when combined with oil analysis. But here's the critical point. Extended drains are only safe with premium oil, proper filtration, and regular monitoring. Don't just dump in any oil and forget about it for 25,000 miles. Amsoil's extended drain recommendations assume you're using their oil and following their protocols. Now let's talk about cold weather performance, because this is where synthetic oil really separates from conventional. The cold crank simulator test measures how easily oil flows at low temperatures. Lower viscosity at cold temps means easier starting and faster oil delivery to critical components. This matters because most engine wear happens during cold starts when oil hasn't reached operating temperature. Amsoil Signature Series 10W 30 flows at temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Conventional oils solidify in cold temperatures. Even some synthetics struggle. Amsoil maintains fluidity at temperatures that freeze other oils solid. The pour point test confirms this. Amsoil consistently shows pour points 20 to 30 degrees lower than competing synthetics. In practical terms, your engine turns over faster in freezing weather, oil reaches bearings quicker, and wear is dramatically reduced during cold starts. If you live in cold climates, this isn't academic. This is the difference between your engine starting on a January morning or needing a jump because oil turned to molasses. Let's address oxidation stability, because this determines how long oil actually lasts before it breaks down. The thin film oxygen uptake test measures oxidation resistance. When oil oxidizes, it forms acids and sludge. This happens faster at high temperatures. The test accelerates oxidation by exposing thin oil films to heat and oxygen, measuring how long before breakdown occurs. Amsoil Signature Series demonstrates superior oxidation resistance compared to conventional oils, synthetic blends, and competing full synthetics including Mobile One, Castrol, and Pennzoil. Longer oxidation resistance means the oil protects longer, acid formation is delayed, and drain intervals can safely extend. Total base number measures a lubricant's ability to neutralize acids. As oil ages, TBN drops. When TBN hits zero, the oil can no longer neutralize combustion acids, and corrosive wear accelerates. 
Amsoil maintains higher TBN for longer periods compared to competitors in extended drain testing. Now let's talk about the NOAC volatility test, because this explains why some oils burn off and others don't. The test measures evaporation loss at high temperatures. Oils with high volatility evaporate, leaving you with less oil and a thicker, heavier formula that doesn't protect as well. This causes oil consumption, reduces fuel economy, and increases emissions. Amsoil Signature Series shows significantly lower volatility than conventional oils and many competing synthetics. Less evaporation means stable oil level between changes, consistent viscosity, and better protection throughout the drain interval. If you've ever had an engine that burns oil, volatility is often the culprit. Lower quality oils literally evaporate out your tailpipe. Premium synthetics like Amsoil resist evaporation even under severe heat. So after looking at all this independent testing data, here's my honest assessment. Is Amsoil the best? In measurable, verifiable testing, yes. It consistently outperforms competitors in wear protection, deposit control, viscosity stability, oxidation resistance, and cold weather performance. Is it worth the premium price? That depends on your priorities and vehicle. If you drive a high-performance engine, a turbocharged vehicle, or plan to keep your car past 200,000 miles, premium oil is cheap insurance. Amsoil costs about $10 to $12 per quart. Mobile One costs $8 to $10. Royal Purple costs $9 to $11. You're talking about a $15 to $20 difference per oil change for measurably superior protection. Compare that to a $3,000 turbo replacement, a $5,000 engine rebuild, or a $2,000 catalytic converter replacement from sludge damage. However, if you drive a basic commuter car gently, change oil regularly, and plan to trade it in before 100,000 miles, you probably don't need Amsoil. Mobile One or Pennzoil Platinum will serve you fine. The key point, Amsoil's performance claims aren't marketing. They're backed by independent laboratory testing using industry standard ASDM procedures. The data is public. The results are verifiable. That separates Amsoil from brands making vague claims about advanced protection without showing the test results. Here's what really matters, oil analysis. If you want to know whether premium oil is worth it for your specific engine and driving conditions, send a sample to Blackstone Labs for $30. They'll tell you exactly how your oil is performing, what wear metals are present, and whether you can safely extend drain intervals. I've run Amsoil in my personal vehicles for years and sent oil samples at 15,000 miles. The analysis consistently shows the oil is still protecting well with plenty of life remaining. That's real-world confirmation that the lab testing translates to actual performance. But I've also seen people waste money on premium oil because they short-trip their vehicle, never get it fully warmed up, and change oil every 3,000 miles regardless. That's not taking advantage of what premium oil offers. Bottom line, Amsoil performs as advertised. Independent testing confirms superior wear protection, deposit control, and extended drain capability. The premium price is justified by measurable performance advantages. Is it necessary for every vehicle? No. Is it beneficial for high-performance engines, turbo vehicles, severe duty applications, and anyone planning extended ownership? Absolutely. The testing data doesn't lie. Amsoil consistently outperforms competitors in standardized, third-party testing. Whether that performance advantage matters for your specific situation is a decision only you can make based on your vehicle, driving style, and long-term plans. Next week, I'm testing whether oil catch cans actually work or if they're just expensive placebos. I'll install one on a turbocharged vehicle, run it for 5,000 miles, and show you exactly what ends up in the can. The results might surprise you. If this breakdown helped you understand oil performance beyond marketing claims, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We cut through automotive BS every week with real data and honest assessments. Drop a comment with what oil you currently use and why you chose it. I read every comment and often provide specific recommendations based on your vehicle and driving conditions. Thanks for watching and remember, premium oil is only worth it if you're actually taking advantage of what makes it premium.